everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Storm. And I'm Dennis. And today what I'm going to do is show you how to set up Cloudflare DNS onto your name server. And in my case, with CyberPanel as my uh, web server in Lightspeed. It's pretty easy, but first thing you do, of course, you see I'm in Vulture. That's where most of my stuff is kept most of the time. And here's my address. We need you to go to Cloudflare. So if, if you don't know, we'll go to C-L-O-U-D-F-L-A-R-E.com. When you get to the welcome screen, just basically either sign up or log in if you got to log in. And then once you get logged in, it'll bring you to a screen similar to mine. And what I need you to do is right here, it says search domains or my account. I want to add a site. This is going to be my website I want to secure. And at this time, I want to secure digitalstorm.io. So I just type in digitalstorm.io and add site. As you can tell, it brings me to choose my plan, of course, unless you need benefits from any of these, which I don't believe most people will. The free version is plenty, and uh, that's why we're going to click, and we're going to click Continue. Now it's scanning my site for DNS records, and it will import them automatically if they find any. And we found one A name and one C name, and let's see what they found. Of course, as you can tell, they found my IP address. If we go back and look, that's my IP address. It also found my C name, and it's proxied, meaning basically it, everything is running through name server. If you see this orange cloud with the arrow through it, name server is taking over and taking care of it. If you see it gray out with the, the arrow going around it, it's just more than likely DNS names added to it, and name server's not doing anything. We're going to hit continue at this time. And it says change your name server. So we got to point the Cloudflare name server to, or point our DNS to, or, you know, at name, like mine's at Namecheap, but wherever you got your uh, website uh, domain, like if it's Namecheap, GoDaddy, Portbun, wherever, we're going to have to point it to Cloudflare name server. And they said this is a critical step. Of course, if you don't know who your domain is registered through, you can do a who is, and it will tell you. So you log into your account at your domain register, and you need to, it's already got my domain name that is registered. This is not no name name, but the registers DNS server names. The DNS1 and DNS2, that is name cheap. So it wants us to remove that, and it wants us to add theirs to it. So I'm going to click Copy for the earnest.ns. I'm going to go back to Namecheap. I'm already logged in, and I'm at Digital Storm. If you haven't logged in, go to your, if it's Namecheap or wherever it is, it's going to be similar. Just go to it and follow my, you know, what I'm doing. Of course, on here, you got Domain. And we got advanced domain. If I go down to name servers, as of course you can tell, is using Namecheap Basic DNS. That's the ones they want me to remove. So now I'm going to click on Custom DNS, and it, as for Name Server One and Name Server Two, I'm going to paste Name Server One. Go back, copy Cloudflare's Name Server Two. Do the same thing. Paste. And that little green check mark, if you're on Namecheap, click it to save. And it should automatically update within the next 48 hours. It's been my uh, point that most time it don't take near that long, but, of course, just letting you know. And this is a site that I'm trying to secure, the digital storm. So let's go back to uh, Cloudflare and see what else is next. So I save my changes, and it says... Cloudflare can take up to 24 hours to process it. So let's do done check name servers. And it's got like a little starting guide where you start and it, you know, go through these steps and then we go finish. Let's go ahead and start that. First thing is improve security. HT, automatic HTTP depth. If yours not checked or the green, you need to check it. 
We, we want anything that's going to the unsecured HTTP to be automatically directed or there's rewrites in it that automatically sends it over to the secure site. Click save. Use, always use HTTPS. Yes, it needs to be green. It, it, it uh, just redirects it to the secure HTTPS one. And click save. And the third one, auto minify. It reduces the size of your source code of your website. Most of these, it binds click because it remembered at a time, but just click all three. Basically what it does, your source codes and, and other source files or, or that you have in there, it takes out the unneeded stuff and it keeps it smaller in order to have a, a higher performance website. Click save. And last but not least is Broadly. Broadly is kind of like a compression a plugin, or not necessarily a plugin it is, but it's, it's part of their thing about managing their traffic and compression. But I click the green and hit save for yes. So now it tells me all basic four things that I have on, and I hit finish. And of course, it says complete the name server setup right now. It still has not completed. So at this time, I'm going to go to another tab, and I'm going to type in what's my DNS.net. Y'all probably seen me deal with this several times. I'm going to type in www.digitalstorm. And this is just going to kind of give me an idea of how it's propagating through all the name servers throughout the world. Of course, some are showing 144. But there's already a lot of them showing name servers. Or this is Cloudflare's, the 104 is in the 172. That's Cloudflare's, and that's what it's showing. Pretty much, look like propagated most of it already from the 144. So that's quick. So let's go to C name. See what C name shows us. As you can tell, it still has not. There's three check marks on my c name but as time goes on it will indeed those x's will turn to checks time i'm gonna check the dns records see what it shows and as you could tell on the www it does not show to be propagating that if i'm gonna take that off and i'm gonna click it again because technically that is how it's supposed to be and as you could tell there's one right here this is the name cheap but look at how many is already propagated for Cloudflare. And there's a digital ocean that I dealt with a long time ago. I think sometimes they will have carryovers. So, and it would take up to 48 hours for that to could, you know, end up being replaced with one of these. But as you could tell, it's going pretty good. But at this time, I'm going to pause the video until it gets through propagation. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we're back, and what I went to check to make sure. You remember when I went to Digital Storm earlier, it was unsecure. Now, when I go to digitalstorm.io and click return, you see the padlock. If you click the padlock, it will bring you down to the our connection is secure. And when you click that, you see this little certificate. Click it and see that. Cloudflare is now, it's each Claire, Cloudflare, and they're now are the one responsible for my security. And now let's go back to DNS, and then we're going to click Cloudflare. It's going to bring us here, and you see it says digitalstorm.io is active. And it is now, great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. Now, this is just the beginning we're going to go through many different steps off and on and setting up different things. But that's just how you get your DNS server to point to Cloudflare and use their server to secure your site. Now, anytime you use a uh, uh, someone, let's say, uh, is far away from you and they try to access your site, Cloud Server got so many CDN out there that whatever the nearest one to that particular uh, audience or person it would cache from it so what they're doing they're storing static cat or sites or static pages of yours uh, web pages at all across their global network in different parts and that way when 
it does get a uh, hit from someone that's further away and if it's a if it's not a dynamic and it's more static that that's already cached in their system they make it go over there quicker and again this is how you set up your name server from wherever you register at to point to cloudflare and use their service to protect your site and in their cdn so y'all like comment and subscribe i'm gonna have more tutorial to come and thank y'all